A special celebration of civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on what would have been his 95th birthday looked vastly different than what was originally scheduled for today in Sioux Falls. Kevin Travis Fossing tells us how the weather altered the event but didn't dampen spirits. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. stood alone this morning in Sioux Falls. An outdoor remembrance of MLK filled with singing, stories, and a special proclamation moved online due to sub-zero temperatures. It was a little disappointing because originally we were supposed to be standing at the statue and then that moved to being inside the city center and now we're online. But as long as we still get to have the event and still get to celebrate, I think, you know, it's still a win. Tyra Hawkins helped organize the event to celebrate King's accomplishments in the fight for racial equality. This day serves as a way to remind us that there are people before us who also did these hard things and they were able to make change. And so it kind of serves as a way to keep you, keep you going. For someone like myself who is actively trying to serve the community, it's a reminder that uh, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Langston Newton is president of the Sioux Falls NAACP and says MLK's legacy is crucial to our American fabric. Although he did so many things for us uh, to continue as a society and all the things he did for race, uh, for race equality and justice, honestly, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's one of those things where you get to reflect on his legacy and you get to also look forward to the future. Newton says King's words still resonate today, more than 55 years after his death, and that this day is not only a reminder of the past, but what has yet to be achieved. We are starting from zero. We are continuously building on his legacy, and so as a, as a local chapter, we're just trying to continue to fight the fight. Although we have seen some improvements, I think there's still quite a ways to go. And so I think just remembering, you know, that we have come a, a ways, but we still, you know, have more fight to give and more things to improve upon. In Sioux Falls, Travis Fossing, Kelloland News. The virtual event did include a proclamation from Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken and guest speakers from the South Dakota African American History Museum and Roosevelt High School. Communities across